My name is Piotr Anioła. I represent the Belsim company. We have a honor to be a main sponsor of this conference. We always try to support such local initiative and I hope that this cooperation will continue. Uh, welcome everybody, welcome friends, uh, our guests from, from Germany. Uh, so, uh, Belsim is a global service provider. Uh, the, here is a picture created by our graphics designer to show where we delivered the projects. Uh, uh, so red color shows places where we delivered something and uh, blue colors places where, where we would like to maybe be in the future and uh, visit. Uh, today we will say a few words about the open source and how we use it across all activities in, in, in Belfin. And uh, together with my colleagues, uh, we, will, uh, we will show several examples. Okay, so firstly I, I will say a few words more about Belfin and then uh, we will uh, present you uh, some examples how we are using open source solutions in uh, in our proposals to customers, uh, how we are using it in release management and uh, communication in production. Also, a few words about uh, how we are using it in our IT uh, department, and uh, at the end uh, about uh, our contribution to open source community. Uh, and uh, about uh, how we are using it in our R&D department. Okay, uh, so Belsim was fo founded in uh, 1999, and uh, uh, during the last 10 years, we grown from local company uh, in Szczecin to, to global software development uh, provider, um, operating with 250 professionals, uh, main quarters are here in Szczecin and in Wrocław. Also, we, we have a, a, an office in Bydgoszcz uh, because uh, several years ago we, we, uh, we joined uh, with GameLion company. And uh, uh, mm, we also have some sales offices in Helsinki, in Finland and in, in USA. Uh, here are some uh, logos of our customers, uh, not all of them. Okay, so um, why we are using open source? Uh, of course there are many benefits uh, and most of our customers are using open source uh, technologies currently and they are planning to increase their budget around open source. Uh, some of them even plan to migrate mission critical software to open source in the next 12 months. So um, we are seeing a strong commitment to open source and that commitment is increasing. Uh, initially the main driver for adopting open source uh, technology was cost saving, uh, but nowadays, uh, uh, interestingly, when we ask with clients why they are using open source uh, technologies. The top answer were higher quality, uh, in improved reliability, and better security bug fixing. Okay, so uh, now uh, let me introduce Radek Basiukiewicz, uh, our architect. He will say a few words about uh, uh, example, how we used uh, open source technology in one of the projects for the customer, uh, so. Yeah, thank you, brother. I think I need it. I was pretty loud. Uh, so, as Pedro mentioned, I'm, uh, I'm architect in Bellstream, and uh, I would like to talk to you about the uh, uh, case study. Uh, so, th that was the project that we made from the, uh, for the biggest, I think still the biggest insurance, insurance company in Poland. Uh, you. And it was the homepage for uh, Pezzo 2, it's more like a, more, more like a portal. So what, uh, what were the goals? So the 
first goal it, it was to unify the product catalog. As a tool itself, they have over uh, 200 uh, products they can sell to customers. Uh, second goal it was uh, to enhance the customer service and of course uh, increase sales. So we choose Liferay uh, as a platform that we want to uh, build a solution on top of it. And why? First, uh, because it's Java based, it was uh, required by the, by the customer. Second, uh, second uh, the most important for us, uh, it's commercial tested. And uh, the third, uh, uh, Liferay itself has, uh, has a large and active uh, community. And quick overview of what Liferay is. Uh, uh, it's an enterprise web platform for, for building a uh, business solution. It's much more than a, a, a CMS, for, for instance, uh, WordPress and uh, so on, because it's a platform for building the enterprise uh, uh, solution. It's based on the LGPL license, and the uh, two last uh, points are most crucial for us. So it's, uh, it offers commercial support, and SLA 24-7. Uh, so. And uh, the results that we, uh, uh, that we achieved, we increased the usability of the, uh, of the home page. Uh, we got also the very positive feedback uh, from, from the market. And uh, what was very, uh, the most important for us, uh, very short delivery time. So the, whole platform is uh, quite, sta quite stable, I will say, and it really help us to build a rapid uh, solution on, on top of it. And uh, I can uh, encourage you to visit uh, Positive Pal, uh, test it out, how it uh, uh, looks like, and uh, <coughs> please take a look to Liferay, uh, how it works, how can uh, it uh, help you to, uh, to build portals. And I think from my side, pretty much it. Okay, so ne next is Andrzej Winiski. He, um, he will say a few words about uh, how we are using open source in production. Uh, we have a lot of uh, projects that, that, that uh, uh, we, we, we are conducting in parallel uh, in the same time. It's about 50 projects in the same time for different customers in different technologies. And uh, in most of them, we are using open source. Andre will say a few words about some tools that support this development. Mm, so I work in Bearstream uh, for over three years, uh, mainly as a Java developer. Uh, so this few slides will be from the developer point of view. And uh, I'll be talking about open source uh, projects in our production, uh, especially to tools, Jenkins and Sonar. Uh, some are familiar with Sonar al already. And uh, when I say production, I mean the whole process that begins with uh, developer and ends with uh, some kind of product for our customer. And this is a common uh, development cycle used in various companies uh, around the globe, especially in Bellstream, uh, which involves a few steps that are needed for this uh, kind of cycle. The there are humans and there are some kind of automatic steps. Uh, the whole process begins with developers that creates a source code. Uh, when the developer creates a source code, he pushes his changes, uh, when he, f he thinks that he finished his code, he pushes his changes to external uh, repository systems like SVN or uh, Git that are used in our company. Then this code goes to the continuous integration systems. Continuous integration systems which are responsible for building applications, and running tests, etc., etc., and then run some code analysis uh, that performs static code analysis of uh, the, the source code, and it goes back to the uh, human being, which is a team leader or coordinator that uh, performs some code review. And when the code review is accepted, the code of the developer is acceptable, the, the cycle is, uh, is, uh, is, is coming to the end and we're getting some final product. But when the, so there are some bugs in the code, uh, the cycle goes around and around and until the uh, product is finished. 
Um, in this presentation, I would like to focus on two parts of this uh, cycle, the, autom the automatic parts. The, I mean, continuous integration with Jenkins and code analysis with Sona. Uh, first, is, it will be continuous integration uh, with Jenkins. Jenkins is an open source tool, uh, previously uh, known as uh, Hudson, uh, developed by uh, Sun. Now it's uh, open source and uh, it, its name is Jenkins. Uh, it's responsible for continuous builds of applications, uh, continuous testing of applications, providing current status of our, uh, our applications. And uh, the main responsibility of J Jenkins is to uh, fetch some data from external uh, Git repository or uh, SVN repository, build our application, run some tests, and provide us with uh, some packages, deploy these packages on this uh, some test servers and provide us with current status uh, of the application. We use Jenkins as an open source solution because uh, it's, as, it's as much as, 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 ma as good as uh, other solutions like Atlassian Bamboo or TeamCity uh, from JetBrains and provides as many functionality as these uh, two uh, other solutions and it's open source, it has, has a large community, has a large history over uh, itself and uh, and it's free. Okay. Next step is code analyst. Uh, when I say code analyst, I mean statical uh, analyst of the code. Uh, we can divide the code analyst from uh, two points of view: uh, the runtime analyst, which is also also often called uh, the bugging and the static analyst that is uh, performed by Sonar and is run on the uh, source code of the application. Uh, the goal is to create cleaner, more optimized and better uh, code in the result. So uh, Sonar scan our, our source code and provide us some uh, fixes for architecture and design, code duplications, uh, unit test, complexity, uh, he can find even potential bugs uh, in our source code, like uh, potential new references or uh, statements that are, that are always true or always false, and uh, find some bugs that are not so obvious to the developers, but are obvious to the machine. And it can also provide some scans of coding rules and even uh, check if our code is fully commented. Uh, fully commented. This also is open source solution, has open source plugins and uh, I honestly didn't find similar solution that is not open source. Uh, Sonar, Sonar uh, is based on few open source uh, plugins like PMD, check style and find bugs and provides many functionalities and provides it uh, by, for free. So it's an important case uh, with uh, also large community and large uh, support. Okay, the, there's uh, two, two, two main tools, but we also use a lot of different tools. Uh, you can see in the cycle uh, when there's a development, we can use Eclipse, which is also open source solution. When we, when we use code review, we can use Garrett for Git uh, repositories. This always uh, also open source solutions that, that open source solutions are, are all around uh, this uh, development cycle in our uh, company. And now our star like <laughs> Okay. Uh, now uh, uh, like Pawlaszek, uh, our, our IT manager will say uh, a few words about examples. Uh, of open source solutions that we are using uh, in IT, uh, mm, uh, because we have many projects uh, and uh, we have very high demands for, for quality, for, for uh, quick response and uh, high availability. So uh, this uh, IT uh, environment uh, has to also uh, provide uh, very high SLA services for, for our projects, uh, for our, our developers. Uh, and so uh, now, uh, let me let we say a few words about it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lech Wasch and I work for Bellstream. 
I'm, as Piotr said, I'm an uh, IT manager in Bellstream, and uh, I'm responsible for all servers and services uh, run at Bellstream. Uh, the, the question is, uh, how many services uh, are open source in Bellstream? Uh, we use massive amount of uh, open source and free software in Bellstream. Uh, actually, does it work? Okay. Uh, actually, uh, I've split it uh, into two parts, sort of two parts. The core, which is uh, uh, vital to our, uh, our organization. Uh, the first thing on this uh, chart at least is an uh, operating system. Uh, about 90% of our servers run on Debian, or as RMS would say, Debian GNU slash Linux. Uh, so um, without uh, this uh, operating, operating system, we would have to use, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of uh, Microsoft uh, operating system or eventual, eventually Apple's uh, operating system. However, uh, because our company uses a uh, very uh, heterogeneous uh, operating system, uh, our developers use uh, Microsoft uh, Windows, uh, use uh, uh, Apple OS X uh, from Macintosh, Macintosh OS X from Apple, and we have some uh, Linuxes uh, on the uh, desktops. We need to be very flexible. Uh, Debian gives us this flexibility and help us to provide uh, better services for all of, all of our users. Uh, our application servers, routers, and firewalls run, run on open software, namely Debian, actually, um, and uh, and we are very fond of it. Uh, it's very stable and it's very uh, thank you, and it's very flexible. Uh, we use uh, as we are uh, with uh, firewalls. We use Firewall Builder uh, software. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's open source and it helps uh, to manage our firewalls. It's, I, I believe it's awesome, actually. Uh, so if you have uh, some farm, we have about 20, 20, 12 to 15 firewalls uh, in our uh, headquarter. Uh, and if you have to uh, manage few firewalls, not only one, using IP tables or, or some kind of software, try Firewall Builder. It's very good. Uh, Another uh, core-ish application which is used to authenticate and authorize our user, users is uh, free radius. Uh, in Bellstream, we, uh, because we are heterogeneous, whatever it means, uh, we have to authorize and authenticate our users. We cannot use a domain logon because it's, it's Windows only, uh, so we use uh, uh, authentication on the second layer of OSI. Uh, that means we need to uh, know that the computer you're plugging to our not the network is known to us. And then you are the user which should have access to resources. And you're not in some kind of, I don't know, spy. Uh, and we use it by, uh, by uh, uh, 800.1x protocol and it utilizes free radius. Free radius, on the other hand, uh, connects to uh, our directory service, which uh, also is open source, uh, and it runs on open LDAP. And it checks if, uh, if, if you're the user, if you, your password is, is correct, if you should have additional access to uh, additional resources, and free radius set it up. I believe it's awesome, and it's, I know that there are some solutions from uh, Microsoft, which uh, helps uh, with uh, provide such solution. However, it's uh, if we would use only uh, Microsoft uh, software, that that would be okay, and that, then we, we we could use it. However, because we are our history uh, uh, of uh, our company uh, is very pretty much some kind of based on uh, Apple, and we, as you can see. Uh, our main computer is uh, Apple's. Uh, we have we had to uh, find another solution. Free radius, open LDAP is the way to go. Uh, and we uh, have a, we use virtualization a lot. I will uh, say about it a, a bit later. 
our however our uh, software uh, of choose is uh, Xen, which is open source as well. I know that there are some um, uh, some say better, but I don't believe so. Some other solutions like VMware, uh, which is not open source, and it okay, it it runs great. However, to our needs, Xen fits best. Uh, I know that there, there there are some other coreish uh, services or, or software which I didn't mention here, but believe me, IT operates massively on open and free software. Uh, we are not uh, the, the users that uh, give back much because we can give, uh, I, I don't know, additional knowledge. We don't develop much. And uh, I know that uh, Andre who says that Jenkins is awesome and uh, Sonar is awesome uh, and it, he uses it. We, as an IT, have to run it and maintain it. And we have to run it and maintain it on, on, on Linuxes, which are open source. Okay, let's go further. Uh, okay, there are some even more services which are uh, in our company and are open source. Open source, uh, like a web service, which we run web services on Apache web server. Uh, I know that some of you uh, know uh, Nginx, but Nginx is also open source. Those both uh, web servers are great in their uh, what they have to do. Uh, and we use it massively. Uh, we, uh, we run about, I don't know, I don't know, 50, 100 uh, virtual hosts on, on Apache. Uh, we have some proxies, proxies, proxies. Mm -hmm. and, and we use Apache. We don't use any, any uh, additional. Why? Because we run Debian, and Debian gives us uh, many open source software which helps us to, to, to do our work. work. Uh, we all we have uh, some databases, of course. Uh, Postgre SQL and MySQL. Um, I believe that we don't have many MySQLs right now because I hate it. But but we have uh, many PostgreSQL databases, uh, and it runs at least for our needs, well, most of our needs. Because I know that some uh, 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 production uses Oracle, of course, but. To many of our needs, or our, at least internal needs, PostgreSQL is good enough, uh, and it's free software. Uh, we have our interna interna international, oh, well, yeah, international and internal uh, communication service based on the uh, XMPP protocol, which is also <laughs> known as Jabber. Uh, we use eJabberD uh, daemon, and it gives us. Uh, uh, it gives us what it gives us. Uh, it gives us uh, comfort that uh, we own our uh, communication. Uh, we are not. Uh, we are not. Uh, we don't have to use uh, some proprietary protocols, and uh, that every communication exchange between our users is uh, at our hands. Whatever. Uh, also, to communicate, to use Jabber, we use uh, open source software. A client open source software as Adium, which is uh, for OS X S. Uh, which if you use OS X and you need a Jabber client, try Adium. It's it's pretty good. And we use Pigeon, which is multi-platform, multi-platform communication software. And yeah, it's also good. Uh, as you can see, our network monitoring system of choose is OpenNMS. It's Java based and it's open source. Uh, backup solution is Bakula. Uh, I gave uh, a speech about, I don't know, a few years ago about it. Uh, so, yeah, but, but, it's, but it's, uh, do what it's uh, supposed to do. Uh, it give, for me, as an IT manager, uh, Bakula gives a good night because I can sleep well, uh, knowing that uh, everything that is needed to be backup is backup. Uh, we use a single sign-on. We used to use single sign-on CAS, we don't use it uh, much nowadays. A uh, few years ago, most of our application used CAS, and it's a central um, signing solution. Uh, right now, because we um, mostly moved our web applications to Jira, which is not open source and which is not free software, but which is heavily used in our company, however, it doesn't support CAS at all. 
uh, CAS it don't, it's, it's not as a core software as it used to be in Bellstream. However, as a side note, Jira gives us, uh, Atlassians gives us uh, access to their soft source code. So, well, it's not open source, but uh, we still have to, we are able to check what, how, how it's done and, and fix some things, which is also good, but well. Uh, our internal applications, some of our internal applications are um, written in Django, Django, uh, which is Python-based framework. Uh, it, it gives us a, a, a way to rapidly develop some applications. Uh, our inventory right now is based on GLPI, which is a French uh, open source software to uh, manage your uh, database uh, of inventory you have in a company. So let's say we want to see who have, a, I don't know, project on. We go to GLPI and check it out. Uh, and our file services are based on Samba. I won't say anything more because I think I'm, uh, I'm giving too, too much. I, I, I'm talk, talking too much. I uh, one example, virtualization. Uh, why we use virtualization at all? Because it, it's, it's actually, it doesn't say why we use Zen. We, it, it, those uh, bullet points gives you, gives you um, some kind of a message why we use virtualization. Uh, the second bullet point is, uh, I, I don't want to say insane, but uh, it, it consolidates uh, hardware and gives us separation of uh, applications, of software. Um, so, so, so using virtualization, we don't have to buy additional hardware if we have some spare, uh, I don't know, cycle, cycles uh, or uh, spare uh, um, RAM or storage. Uh, so we can uh, fire away another uh, virtual, virtual uh, appliance uh, to run another software. Uh, it, because of that, it gives us increased utilization of hardware. Uh, yeah, Zen is, uh, is known as, uh, as, as the one virtualization software which is able to para-virtualize. Para <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, is able to power virtualization, whatever. Uh, so um, we are able to um, run at nearly hardware speed additional uh, systems. So our Debian's on uh, pretty good machines uh, are able to uh, run few additional uh, appliances, which uh, which gives us, uh, which helps us to separate um, services, which is good course, because we can uh, uh, separate Apaches from, I don't know, databases. Uh, Xen also supports live migration and, and it supports rapid deployment. What, that, what does it mean, rapid deployment? What I mean is that I'm able to, let's say, Andrzej needs uh, additional uh, appliance for, uh, let's say, Jenkins. Uh, Given that I use uh, Zen and para virtualization, or virtualization, I can create a, like, a, let's say in a minute, so that, because it takes about an hour sometimes, whatever. Uh, I can give him a virtual appliance on which he is able to run Jenkins and do whatever he wants on it. I know it, it sometimes uh, looks like IT delegates uh, work to developers, but uh, it has, also, also, of course, some cons and pros. Pros is that a uh, developer is able to do whatever he wants. Cons is, of course, uh, con is, of course that the uh, developer needs to ne know what he wants and how to do it. However, IT uh, supports the, such requests, so if, uh, if Andrzej knows what he needs, we are able to do it. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for the time I took. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, LPA. Uh, we heard a lot of uh, uh, acronyms. Uh, his acronym is LPA, Lech Pawłaszek. Uh, this is another story from our company. As you see, uh, our IT doesn't have too, too, too many occasions to show what they are doing, uh, but without them, uh, our company would stop immediately. So, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Next, uh, about our contribution to open source, uh, we also uh, have uh, some projects uh, that we published as an open source, and, uh, um, and we also support uh, our employees if they would like to, 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 to uh, participate in some open source projects. So, uh, first example is uh, Open Video Hub. Uh, some time ago, we, 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 we created such tool. Uh, was uh, an online video player in those times on the, on the mobile phone. Th there was not no, no, not, not many such tools, uh, but uh, so it was used quite widely by users. But uh, from the commercial point of view, it uh, didn't succeed. So we decided to, to, to publish it uh, to open source, and we we, we chose uh, GitHub as a place where we are uh, uh, committing our uh, sources. Uh, and uh, very soon we are going to also publish another uh, another uh, project uh, which we are using commercially for one of the telecommunication provider and uh, it, it will be uh, a, a library that process incoming SMTP uh, packets uh, so very soon we will publish it also on GitHub uh, but uh, 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 this time that we spent on on, on, uh, on open video hub was not wasted and uh, based on our experiences we created some other applications and this time we, we succeeded and uh, here are for instance two examples of, uh, of tools uh, you can for instance you can download it uh, in office store uh, shutter pro and uh, video pro shutter pro uh, we this year we, we were selected by Nokia uh, uh, and we, we won uh, some competition uh, about 800 other uh, providers uh, uh, was participated in this competition and we won the, the main prize okay and uh, uh, also uh, we are trying to, 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 to teach students uh, and help them to, to, to learn how to uh, how to use uh, some top technologies and uh, so we, we created a program we call it patronage uh, it will be a, I think it will be a sixth edition uh, now and uh, every year uh, about 80 students participated in and uh, this year uh, uh, we, we are preparing for, for, for next edition and uh, mm, uh, we, we have also, we're partnering with uh, all uh, main universities in, in Szczecin and also we, this time uh, we have a media partner, uh, uh, TV Telewizja Polska in Szczecin. And uh, in this uh, program, uh, students uh, can, uh, can, can, can uh, learn how, how to use some technologies uh, uh, mostly open source technologies and uh, also they can see from inside how such uh, uh, software house is working and uh, at the end uh, usually uh, the best ones uh, we, we try we, we offer uh, them a job uh, so, so every year uh, about five to ten uh, students are joining our company uh, so this is a great occasion for, for uh, students uh, not only from Poland <laughs> Uh, so we are also hiring people from outside Poland. So uh, and the, uh, our language in, in the company is English. Uh, is use, we use English as a main language. Uh, okay, maybe there are some questions. <laughs> what countries are you most popular? Sorry? Your, your products, uh, which countries? Uh, we provide mostly in, uh, in Finland, Poland, uh, Germany and uh, USA. Okay. Mostly in these countries. But also, as you have seen in, uh, on the first slide, yes. uh, occasionally <laughs> okay. in some other places. Uh, how much you participate in open source projects that you are using in production environment? Uh, not much. Usually we are just using it, and uh, or, or we have some questions uh, uh, 
uh, if we found some, some problems or issues. Uh, but sometimes, if it is possible, th then we try to, to, to also to, 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 to con contribute to open source. Um, for instance, our IT department implemented a, a plugin uh, to, to LDAP. Uh, yes, uh, no, LDAP, yes. Uh, in uh, which was the project? For Jira. In Jira. And, uh, and uh, we are going to also publish this, uh, this plugin to, to, to open source. Uh, thanks to that, uh, we will not have to maintain it. <laughs> this is also a, a, a reason, because if we will publish it, uh, others will be able to use it, but also uh, thanks to that, uh, the quality and, and uh, maintenance of that will be uh, outsourced. Uh, so, so both sides uh, will have uh, If not, uh, then uh, mm -hmm. thank you very much, uh, and uh, it was a pleasure to, 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 to have this presentation.